Well, this match is in Pool J. And also in this pool are Brouwer and Musen from the Netherlands, the 2013 World Champions and a bronze medalist at the Rio Olympic Games last year. And then the Uruguayans, Vieto and Keras, at the first team from Uruguay to qualify for the men's uh, Beach Volleyball World Championship. So, Michael Abril, 22 years of age, and, uh, measuring 198 centimetres or six foot six, and uh, playing alongside him in his fourth World Championship is Koreshko Fielek, 1 metre 86 or 6 foot 1, 30 years of age. European champion, uh, bronze medalist in 2013 in Klagenfurt in Austria. He'll be hoping for more of the same, if not better, here in the capital of Austria. That's me, baby. That's me, baby. <laughs> Alex Lanieri, 30 years of age, two meter, uh, 200 centimetres uh, tall. Six foot six. And then his partner, 29 year old Adrian Carambula. The pair have uh, two gold medals to their name on the FIVB Beach Volleyball World Tour, the Doha Open in April 16 and the Antalya Open in October at 15. They were third at the Porridge Major Series in June of 15 as well. The best finish for the Polish pair in their uh, seven previous tournaments. Fifth place on three occasions, the last of which came at the Gestard, Gestard Major Five Star event. Also the Moscow Three Star and the Fort Lauderdale Major Five Star. So here we go then. It's going to be Fielek to get us underway. Good dig from Fielek. And a little dink from Ranieri. And the Italians take the first point. Nice touch from Ranieri, good awareness. this big sky serve and that one floats long very windy here today the wind blowing from left to right as we look and then swirling around inside the arena so that sky serve can uh, get taken by the wind Defensive efforts of Brill. Oh. Ah, brilliant stuff from Kambula. But all in vain, but magnificent athleticism to keep that ball alive. First there, and then this is even better. Worth seeing again, quick reactions to get the left hand out the first time, and then to dive forward to not only dig it up but get it over the net okay. uh, nothing that can do about that 
In the last rally, saw him using his left hand twice, and on that occasion, he had a strong right hand to keep it alive before that one. And plenty of power on show. The penultimate match on centre court on this opening day of the 2017 Beach Volleyball World Championships. His first effort from that right hand end. And the match doesn't bring about a point, but opting not to put up the sky serve. Oh, too much on that one. Attempted block, so it goes the way of Bill Fielek. 8 5 Poland lead. Yeah, just off the right hand side of Ranieri's attempted block. And Bill has time to push the shades up before attempting the spike, but he can't find. The target he's after. Brill is there again. Put the ball back down on the Italian side. Dig from Fearlek. And this time it's the Lanieri to come up with the block. The sets have got to be good in this one. Such is the prowess of the respective blockers at the net. doing well and setting up the point.
nice work. Just showing the deftness of touches, Ranieri. Plenty of power out on the court, but there is the touch as well. So the Polish pair will have the advantage at the technical timeout. But will it be a bigger advantage than three? Drags it wide. Oh, nice work from Brill off the floated serve, and it is a three point advantage as they head for the chairs and the technical timeout. Final point from the team in red. And the technical time, it's out, it's Poland 12. Case, Italy the ball is right there. The ball is like a meter away from your shoulder. Come on, no, come on. Come on let's... Now, the Italians seem less happy. From the poles. Man on your right there. Brill. Teamed up with Kasper Kuczewiak to win the FIVB Youth World titles in 2012, the under 19, and 2014, the under 21. And he had the senior title for the junior titles. Senior. 15, they'll be hoping to run deep into the competition. Oh, doesn't miss by much. It was just long. And it's long from Fialak, so the Italians starting to work their way back into this set. The difference now just one point. In the angle, Fielek. This time, the roll shot finds the target. Partner on his toes. And Buda, I was not expecting you to come back at the first attempt, but just feel like trying to keep it alive on his side of the net. Better first touch from Fearlek. Can't keep it alive. Rolls over. Full length. Can't get 
underneath it enough. Good blocking, and they're back on level terms. Side switch, it's 14 all. Three blocks to his name. from Felix now can he put it away and the area is there and he takes the points for Italy fingertip stuff from Ranieri and it's enough Set was too close to the net for the power spike. Rolls it over Ranieri's block. Nice, nice, nice. Gets the block, but can't control it. the ball by Kambula. Mm, Brill could put it away. Just to pause, pause in proceedings. Well, you know, he cleans his sunglasses. Sides as we end, work our way towards the end of the first set. We'll try to go again. Hey, Power. It's the attempted block of Ranieri. Felt it was close. Oh, real power from Ranieri. Really climbed into that spike. Worth another look down the line. Giving it absolutely everything. to point here. Since 14 all. And they've just sided out. Will that continue? 
No, it does not. So, two set points for Brill and Fialek. Going to be a timeout here, called by the Italians. And they are going to have to find something special to try and pull this one back. Double. Double. I want you aggressive. Come on. I hit three, he brought me three. The shot's working. I missed it by a little. You have to work now double on defense now, huh? Come on. Ben Ranieri asking for more from his teammate. Yeah. A good improvisation. The Austrian flag turning it into the Polish flag. So the first of two set points. And they take it. Brill with the block. And Poland draw first blood 21 18. The timeout didn't disrupt the Polish pair. And they are a set to the good, much to the delight of the few Polish fans in the crowd. Now, Brill with five blocks in the first set. Just the one error that came from Fearlek, but here we go again. The fifth block is the one that brings about the first set. side of the court and then from net camp disappointment Ranieri and Kalambula so more attacks and one more block to service errors in Italy's favour so it's going to be Kambuda to get this second set underway. That's fantastic from Fearlek. And he's there again. But then Ranieri comes up with the block. Athleticism. There it is again. Nearly getting big to make the block and secure the point. setting it gives Ranieri the chance to get his hands on the ball and that's exactly what he does oh, the 
first three points have gone exactly the same way as they did in the first set. Pan from Poland got in front. In the first set of seven, led 4-3. Didn't relinquish that lead for the rest of the set. And Buda just getting his radar a little wrong. Made the right decision, just couldn't execute it. You see Fierlek moving across the court. across the court, dissecting the Polish defence. And then floats it long. to unleash one but doesn't come off and the side switch it's Poland who lead 4-3 as they did in the first set still just a one error in the match from Fielek and Brill four now from the Italian pair that's why they are saying he didn't touch it on the line and the scoring is still exactly the same as the first set 6-3 to Poland good blocking is enough and the timeout is called and the Italians go to the bench trying to solve this conundrum seven three they trail look at that run of five points for Poland you see the hitter right now is off you in line it's off of you in line when you are off the net you're off the net, it's off the you're like you're going towards him, you have nobody in the front. No, he just he just jumped, he was in the line, the other guy jumped line. No, 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 he's far away from me, he's holding the seal in the line. So will this work in Italy's favour? Nicabril. Ball in hand. Can he make it 8 3? Off the set. Oh, the attempted block, excuse me. And Italy get that scoreboard going once again. Bula, first service ace of the match. Okay, 
Rolled over the top. Good set. And brilliant. Here, Lake. Over Ranieri's fingers. Second side switch, Odin still in front, eight points to six. Good angle from Ranieri. So Ranieri, seven, six, eight. Goes to Brill. And Brill touches it in front of Fialek and takes it away from his partner. Okay. Next time, finds his mark. As we edge towards the technical timeout. points until the technical timeout. Hey. And he does it again. And he did it in the first set then Yeti. And he does it here in the midpoint of the second. Tips it back over. There's the cut, and Bula read it. Two points in the technical timeout. Poland at 12 9 in the first set. And here he's changing it up, going over on the second touch. Onto the line from Fialek. So they will have the advantage at the technical timeout, but will it be one? Or will it be three? I go to Karambula, who misses with the spike, and it is three as it was in the first set. 12 points to nine. Poland go to the bench in front. And missed by much. But it missed. That was the crucial part. And Poland who took the first set 21 18, are in front in the second. But we've seen some extraordinary matches today where teams have been a set and had three match points or two match points and been taken to a third. 
anything possible. Decent crowd in on this first day. number of Polish fans just there to the lefty screen. See them with their red and white caps and scarves. Just above Felix cap from that angle. Stretch can't get it back. That's the block. Get from Fielek and Brill puts it away. 14 10. Good get. And the change up from Brill catching out of Agnelli. Put it. Uh, this is a healthy lead now for Fielek and Brill. Now that was touched by Brill. Could just hear the click. to the net. Now, a run of points here for Italy. Could be just a ticket. Sixteen twelve now. Points desperately, Ranieri and Cambula. Once more, and then the power on the shot. Pambula couldn't deal with it. Four points away from the win. Just wide. Yeah, they... 
I thought the set was too close to the net, but Bill bullied the ball over. So Brill with the serve. Go to Ranieri this time. The Italians combine to win the point and the ball. It's a matter of siding out for the Poles now. And now they have six match points. Brill doing the business at the net. Twelve more attacks in the match. And the Italians and Poland. And that is why they are in such a commanding position. So, Fielek, first match point. The catch is a good one from Karambula. Saves the first match point. Going to have to go on some sort of sensational run. Pull this one out the fire. That music, the last charge. It's long for Ranieri and it's all over. A straight sets win for the Polish pair of Michael Brill and Gregor Fielak of Poland, the number 15 seed. They've taken out Adrian Karambula and Alex Ranieri of Italy, the number 34 seeds. 21 18, 21 15. A very tight first set was followed by a rather more one-sided second set. Poland in control for most of it. Well, they didn't let up. And it is the Polish fans that are celebrating here on centre court. Let's have another look. Ranieri going for the big serve. Bielek just stops the head and can give his partner a high five. Little clench of the fist, and it is a perfect start for Brill and Fearlek in Pool J. They've won it in two sets to love. Second time of asking, they needed one set point in the first set, two set points in the second. And there is confirmation of that straight set win 21 18, 21 15. Brill and Fielek up and running here. So the stats, as you can see, plenty of attacking from Poland. Some good blocks actually from Ranieri and Brill. And uh, very few errors in the match. One from Poland, six from Italy. And it is Poland that take the victory. So that was the penultimate match on centre court on this opening day. And it has been a perfect start for Michael Brill and Gregor Fielak of Poland. They've won in straight sets over Italy. Let's remind ourselves of highlights from the match. <laughs>